A suspected shop house has been broken up in Orange Park. News for Jax is hearing from one of the neighbors who saw the raid firsthand. The police showed up in a van and uh, like five police cars and they all started running and rushing the house and uh, right after they just started searching the vehicles that were out there. Clay County deputies arrested this man Wade Phillips. He's accused of running the chop house. News for Jax reporter Eric Avignier joins us live outside the home in Orange Park and Eric deputies also recovering some stolen vehicles during this raid. That is correct. Deputies say vehicles reported stolen out of Duval County here in Clay County and even in Los Angeles, California, were found parked inside uh, this driveway. Now, they interviewed uh, Phillips and his girlfriend, whom they say owns this place. But in the end, it was Phillips who was carted off in handcuffs. Clay County deputies say they raided this home on Hayton Avenue as part of an investigation into stolen vehicles. They say they recovered a Ford truck and Honda motorcycle reported stolen out of Duval County, a Yamaha motorcycle reported stolen out of Los Angeles, California, and a Kawasaki motorcycle reported stolen in Clay County. The investigation led to the arrest of 46-year-old Wade Phillips on charges of operating a chop shop. According to the arrest report, investigators spoke with him and his girlfriend who owns the house, but their statements were omitted from the report. When we arrived at the house, there were two men working on a truck in the driveway. Any of you guys related to Wade? Wade Phillips. One of the men immediately said he had nothing okay. to do with the investigation and did not want to be on television. The other proceeded to close the garage. A woman believed to be Phillips' girlfriend started closing the drapes. After the men left, I knocked on the door to see if she would talk about the investigation. No one answered the door. Several neighbors on the block would not talk on camera, but say different cars and motorcycles were always pulling up to the driveway. Then one neighbor finally agreed to speak on the record as long as he was not identified. He says he assumed the people living here were mechanics working on other people's cars and motorcycles. How many motorcycles would you see over there? I would see at least three or four a week moving through. And they will work on them all, all hours of the night. Sometimes they'll be out here working on them midnight, two, three, four in the morning. I told them that one of the recovered motorcycles was reported stolen out of California. I figured. Now, Phillips' legal troubles are far from over because according to authorities in South Carolina, he is a wanted fugitive facing charges on narcotics distribution charges. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.